Hey guys, time to build a fire. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. So it's mid-afternoon and it hasn't gotten above about 35 degrees outside. And in this old house, it gets a little bit drafty. Yes, it's insulated. We have uh, foam and all kinds of stuff on the house. I think we need to work on what, this window over here. I think we're gonna have to put uh, a storm window or something up. But nonetheless, when we get this thing cranking behind me, it'll run you out the front door. I am just, it's unbelievable, folks. I had the low pie liberty, and my husband likes to build the fires. It's his thing. He loves that. So, but he's not here. So I'm going to go ahead and get a small fire going. I want to get the stove warmed up because we haven't had a fire in several days. We try to not use it. We try to just go with the flow in terms of barely using the heat if we can to, uh, you know, preserve the propane that we have because the house is hooked to propane. Propane's not that expensive this year. Um, but two to three years ago, it got up to $4 a gallon. And if we live off the propane tank out there, we go through at least two full runs of it in the winter because it's just so cold. That was a bad winter though. So, I mean, you know, last year was a little bit milder, but nonetheless, we're going to get this fire going. I'm going to clean it out and show you some of the things that I do or we do, and it changes every time, but we do have to clean it. We have the Low Pie Liberty. We love it. It's the biggest um, wood stove that Low Pie makes. And I'm going to tell you right now, year three, we love it. We simply love it. We use it for heat uh, as much as possible, and we also use it to cook on. So we try to really use it for dual purpose as much as we can. So let's get her started. So the first thing I'm going to do is clean up the stove. Dust it off, get it prepped, take all the ashes out. All of that, you can put this in your garden, you can put this in your compost, whatever you wish to do with that, okay? So I'm going to strip it out, strip it down. I'm going to clean it out so that that helps with the airflow when everything is in there because the secret to a good fire, and you guys have been doing this for 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years or you don't know anything different, any tips that you can put down down below in the comments because again it's that situation where people look to see what are you doing but they don't necessarily listen to me oh okay hillbilly girl here they go down into the comments and they read what you suggest or what you use and you all start these incredible conversations so yes you're gonna agree you need to clean the, the stove is cold guys okay there's this there's not been a fire in here uh in several days it's just been sitting because we've had mild weather again we had rain and milder weather so no no use in wasting the wood in my personal opinion so i'm going to clean it out and i'm also going to clean your glass door here and i use a lot of you always for, well, use the same i just use white vinegar you can use it with a paper towel or you can use it with um newspapers. So let's get cleaning up. All right. Not a bad job there. Just got everything out. So you can see right there just from several fires how much ash you're going to get. So you'll have to decide what all you want to do with that. Just look at that. Isn't that amazing? Good stuff, right? A lot of handy dandy uses for you guys out there. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this. So, because once you get so many fires going and that whatnot, um, it's bound to happen. So I'm gonna put the camera down simply so I can put the vinegar onto this and then you can see me wipe it. Here we go. All right, the damper is open. Push this in for the airflow. Got it cleaned up, got it loaded up. Let's see if we can get her rocking and rolling. Little bit of kindling, small pieces of really dry wood, lots of uh, newspaper, um, lint. There's those big old rollers, newspaper from a Nana, just different things, different things you can understand to use. So let's hope we get a good fire going. Just want a steady fire going for the day to keep it warm, warm up the, you know, take the edge off. And then for tonight, the, the uh, entire stove will be prepped. And boy, I'll tell you, she can roar like nothing. She can get this house up to 88 degrees <laughs> without any trouble. So let's build it. Oh, 
All right, so I'm trying to use these small pieces of little thin kindling. I don't want to use something big and major. I'm trying to be conservative uh, at the beginning of winter time here. We're not even in, actually in winter, so we're st everything's starting to catch. I'm gonna let that start to heat up, and then I'll put a small piece of wood in, trying to keep it up, um, and you know, go in and keep spaces of air in there. So here we go. So when I'm opening, always have your gloves ready to go, but you just want to make sure your airflow's going, and I want to open it for just about, and just crack the door uh, for 15, 30 seconds, okay? Otherwise, you're gonna get a room full of smoke and your fire alarms are gonna go off. We learned that the hard way. All right, let's see what we can do here. Okay. Continue to add. All right, come on now. Be good to mama. Don't make me go out and chop more wood today. Make smaller pieces. I need one of those little handy dandy uh, things to make all that cool kindling. Have you seen that where it's, you, you'd set, I don't know what it's called. It's standing straight up, but it's interesting because you can run out of kindling fast. This has got to catch. All right, come on. I'm not gonna put this piece in yet. All right, guys, so here is what I've done. I got the initial fire going. It was fairly small. So I put one piece of wood across it. So I had it kind of bridged up. It caught. So then I lifted it up and I have these other two pieces in there. You can see they're catching really well underneath there. And I went ahead and pulled it forward. You, sometimes I pull it forward, sometimes I pull it back. It depends on how strong the fire is. I wanted that wood that you see back there, that really large piece. I kind of nursed it to the back, so I added a fourth piece. So, again, the stove was really cold. So, we're building it now. Let me see if I can get how, you know, how it's doing. Yeah. So, I'm just going to continue to watch it. This stuff drives my husband crazy. I know you men are watching going, Now, if you had built it this way... And if you had angled this just one degree to the right, and then, girl, if you had, I know what you're thinking, just stop it right there. As I have told my husband, as I have told my father, as I even told my grandfather at one point in time. If you want women of today to have skill sets and to understand how to build fire, how to cook certain things, how to hunt, fishing and loving every day, you have to allow them to do it. You can't just say, baby doll, get aside and I'll do it, baby. Hey, baby, baby, let me build the fire. Okay, let me let me do it. You you have to let us fail. And so, like right now, my husband will be like, get up, move it, just go, go, go do something. You know, he would be. <laughs> but I think I'm doing pretty good, don't you? I mean, it's catching, it's doing. So you have to learn to do it yourself, ladies. And guys, you have to be patient, okay? You know, just, you have, to, I know you have your moments with Castaway, me build fire, but we have to build fire too. Mm. Okay, so let's just continue to let it roll and be patient. See, this is another one. Whew, I better back up. Mm. This is another one of those moments of patience. I think it's going to turn out just fine. Mm-hmm. Two more little blocks in there. They're starting to catch. The damper is still open. Um, and I also got my water set right there. You can see my fan going. It's starting to heat up. So I'm going to put one more fine piece of um, wood in here. Just let it sit for a second. My husband's on his way home. He'll be so pleased. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. God, come on now. I'm just gonna set this right across the top. Starting to collapse a little bit. Yeah, that's gonna catch good. All right. Think mama built fire today. Got it started. Now we can just continue to enjoy it. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. And we'll just continue to work with it. 
have to tell you, there's nothing like it. You just It's another skill. It's another skill set to learn. Thanks for watching, guys. Y'all stay warm and happy out there. Light the fire, darling. Mm. Are you in your little ha happy house? Yes. She loves a new fire. Yes, she does. Oh my goodness. She's a good girl. She is a good girl.